Hey everybody, today I'm going to be tricking myself into believing that this is my own hand. And the end goal of this is once I trick myself into believing that this is my own hand, I'm gonna be crushing it in the hydraulic press while my brain is thinking it's my own hand and see if my brain can actually trick myself into believing there's any pain happening. It should be pretty crazy. Okay, so in order to not just test this on myself, I've got the help from my friend Indiana here. So I'm gonna be testing this out on me and him. We're gonna see if it actually does work. If it does work, then I'm gonna crush my own hand in the hydraulic press. Okay, so here's the setup. So we've got him set up here. Real hand, fake hand, right? Real hand. Real hand over here. So he's gonna leave his hands like this. The fake hand is over here, blocked completely from his view. So I'm gonna be in the front here, and I'm going to be stroking the same part of each finger. And I'm gonna be doing it at the same time. If you don't do it at the same time, then the, it doesn't trick the brain. So how is this actually happening? Well, scientists began studying this phenomenon when they noticed that some patients who had strokes noticed that they began to feel like their hand or their limb or some other appendage was not their own. And in fact, sometimes they even claimed ownership of somebody else's appendage. And so they would say they think that their hand isn't their own or they would think somebody else's hand is their own hand. And this wasn't just a passive belief, but they literally thought they didn't own their own hand, it wasn't part of their body, or someone else's hand was part of their body. And so scientists began to understand that they could dramatically alter the sense of ownership of your own body somehow. For the patients with the stroke, it was due to a damaged part of their brain. But scientists actually set out to see if they could alter the sense of ownership of the body with an experiment. And one of those experiments is this rubber hand experiment. And the reason this works so well is because the sense of ownership of your own body comes from a lot of different sensory organs in your body, not just one. And so your brain combines your vision along with your sense of touch to, th to know that this is your own hand, this belongs to your body. But you can mess with that a little bit by changing up the vision. So you still feel the touch, but your brain starts to assign that touch as to coming from somewhere else because it starts to trust your eyes. Your eyes see that a hand is being touched in the same way that your hand is being felt out of your view. And so your brain starts to reassign that appendage. So it says, okay, even though I'm pretty sure this wasn't my hand, it starts to just believe that it is your hand. Here we go. Here we go. This is already so weird. Oh, weird. Oh, see, see what oh. happens if you hold her hand. Oh, it's, ha it's happening. Oh, it's happening. The slow one. The slow <laughs> creep. The slow creep. Whoa. Now it's like really happening. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's happening. Yeah, and my brain keeps thinking, why does my hand look so weird? <laughs> Once you're feeling it, then see if you feel pain. <laughs> uh, <no! laughs> Holy cow, that's so weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So how did, do you feel like you've lost yeah, your I've hand? Yeah, my hand's not even here. Like, this is, this is an illusion. So that's called dismembership. So your brain actually, once it starts to pick up that it thinks that the rubber hand is your own hand, then it actually dismembers, it starts to dismember your other hand. And, and scientists have actually studied this. They've actually looked into what happens when you start to dismember your own hand. You actually start to lose the ability to respond quickly in it. And so the way they tested this is, so they had the setup, and once it starts to change into the hand, thinking that the hand is your own part of your own body, then they would send electrical impulses from the brain down the hand and see how long it took to respond in your real hand. And it actually delayed the response time. So that meant that when you're thinking this is your own hand, you get delayed response in your real hand. The brain actually stops you from thinking that your real hand is your real hand and it can't even respond quickly. That was that was that was like an out of body experience. I don't know why. It just was. Just... It was really it was... weird stroking your finger yeah, too. Okay, we're gonna start out first. Let's get the illusion going. 
start the strokes. It's so weird, especially with it so far away from my other hand with the setup, it still feels like it. So keep stroking the fingers as it goes down. Okay, tricking my brain into thinking my own hand is getting crushed. Three, two, one. Oh no. This is so weird. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Still feeling it? Still feeling it. Still feeling it. <laughs> okay, so this is really weird. So <laughs> it's obviously crushed, but I still feel it like it's my own hand there. I can okay. feel, feel him stroking my hand, and it looks like my hand, but it's a hand that's crushed in a press. So, <laughs> so the hand illusion, the rubber hand illusion, still works while your hand's getting crushed in a hydraulic press. <laughs> uh oh, my arm's caught. Oh, <laughs> that's so oh, no. funny. <laughs> can you unhook me? Yeah. <sighs> Ah. Uh, not that bad. No, not that oh, bad. Oh, well, okay. Oh. That's that's kind of bad. <laughs> you know, there's a couple stitches here and there. That'd be great. I just gotta say, thank you so much for letting me be the assistant scientist today. Assistant to the scientist, actually. All right. Okay, so I'd like to thank Indiana for joining me in this video. So Indiana actually has his own channel that he's actually had for quite a while. I want to see him get to a thousand subscribers. Head over to his channel. He filmed some behind the scenes footage for this whole video. Pretty good behind the scenes footage you know here. You know so head out, what's your channel name? Indiebo, I-N-D-I-B-A-U, one word. Um, <laughs> we do anything from traveling around the world to puppet shows. Well, I'll put a link in my description. Go check out his channel, subscribe if you want. Get him to a thousand subscribers at least. So thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And if you haven't gone to theactionlab.com, head over there, check out my subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.